Okay, before we start the facial, I just want to make sure that you get a blow dryer out that has a cool setting or a handheld fan. And any time that you're doing the facial and you need more time, just pause the video and then turn it back on when you're ready to start again. Hey guys, okay, we are not in the studio, we're in my kitchen. And are you guys excited for your facial? I am because I'm gonna get a facial too. So we are gonna do this together. And this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, so it's gonna be kinda cool. The first thing I wanted to mention, if you have those party ice cubes, throw them in the freezer. We are gonna use those for the ice massage later, so just get those in the freezer now. If you don't have those plastic party ice cubes or any of those plastic things with the liquid in them that you can freeze, then just take two ice cubes, put them in uh, each one in one baggie and throw that in the freezer, and we're gonna need that in a little bit. So you should have your kit. It should look something like this if you haven't opened it yet. And once you open it, depending on the color of tissue, it will be like this. And then you're going to pull the tissue open and you will have all your little products. There's going to be a list that's gonna tell you the products. They are all numbered and they're in here. Now, if you got a brush, you will also have this little brush. If you didn't, you'll be using your makeup brush or any flat brush that you have. So let's get this stuff out and start our facial. We have our spa music going. One last thing. If you are the social media type, while we're doing this facial, if you would post a video or a photo and tag me at the lovely thorn on my Facebook and my Instagram, you'll get 10% off your next service or product. And whoever has done both of those will also be entered in a drawing to get a free 50 minute facial. And you can apply that toward an 80. You can apply the 50 towards an 80 if you want. Okay. So I hope that inspires you to do that. Um, because that's really fun when everybody sees that we're doing at home facials. So let's okay. get started. So you should have something on your head to wrap your head. Um, you should have, uh, I just used a towel, wrapped it around and used a clip because we're, we're going to need to be addressing our face, our neck and our decollete. So it's important that we don't have anything up here. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do if you're doing this in the morning and you've applied skincare the night before, you probably don't have a lot to take off. If that is the case, you're just going to be wiping your face with a wet wash rag. I don't have anything on my face but lipstick, which is now gone. So I'm just gonna use the wet washcloth. If you need to get your makeup off, it's the end of the day, then just use any cleanser that you have at home. Don't use the cleansers in your kit because we're gonna use those in a little bit. So just get out your own cleanser and wash your face. Otherwise, if it's morning, we're just gonna take a warm washcloth and you're gonna be using the same washcloth throughout this facial because you can just rinse it out. You're not gonna have to use like the seven towels that I use during the facial, unless you really wanna get bougie like that. I don't, cause I don't wanna do any more laundry. Okay, now I've got my circulation going. So the first thing you wanna do is unpack all your little containers and lay them out on the counter so that you can see they are all numbered one through seven. Even without glasses, I can see these numbers because I wrote these without my glasses. So, but still put them in order so you don't grab the wrong thing. Once you've laid out your product and your face is a little damp, we wanna make sure that our face is completely, completely dry because the first thing we're gonna be doing is the microdermabrasion scrub. This does not work very well on a wet face, I have found. If there's any moisture left on the face, it doesn't work very well. So if you have a blow dryer that has a cool setting, which most of them do, go ahead and get that out if you don't have a hand fan. I'm just gonna use a blow dryer for this because I forgot the fans at the studio and I'm home. Okay, so here's number one and we just need to dry our face. Make sure it's on cool. Okay, we're gonna be using this throughout the facial. You're gonna need this two more times, so keep it out. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is our microdermabrasion scrub. And you wanna use all of this. Don't try to think you're gonna be able to use some of this later. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not gonna roll off. So most of you, when you're laying on the aesthetics bed, you don't know how much I'm actually putting on and you don't really see what's happening. So we're just gonna get this and it's gonna feel like an awful lot, 
and you all remember, those of you who've gotten a facial from me know that it's gonna feel like all the skin is off your body. And quite frankly, that's what we want. So this is our exfoliation. We're gonna be doing this for about four minutes. For those of you who don't know how to use this microdermabrasion scrub, you've dispersed it across your neck, decollete, and your face. You're gonna start down here and you're gonna go in circles. And what's gonna happen is as you start massaging, the cream is gonna get thicker and thicker and thicker. And when it does, it's gonna start wadding up. And then you're gonna lean over the sink or the tub, wherever you're doing this facial, and it'll just start beating off. That's why you want your hair up. It will get everywhere and it is such a mess. Okay, so I'm standing on a towel and so it's just gonna all fall down on this towel. Okay, and very gently on the eyes, but I always address the eyes because we wanna exfoliate the eyes as well. We don't wanna miss those because they're gonna get old as well. Circles, we've gone to the top. Now we're gonna work our way back down and we're gonna just keep doing this. So start at the top, go down, then from the bottom up, top down, bottom up, and just keep doing that. You're gonna probably do that about 10 times before it starts getting thick. Now, if it feels like you are taking every bit of skin off your face, then what you can do if you're like, okay, I'm so done, then just stop and let it continue to dry out. And then you can um, beat it off at the end. And make sure you do your lips. If you wanna keep young, supple lips, you've gotta exfoliate those too. And it's really hard for me to do this while when you guys are getting a facial because I'm always afraid I'm gonna get it in your mouth and it's like little grains of sand and rock and it's really not fun. So you can really get your lips today. So it's starting to get thick now. I don't know if you can see. It's gathering on my hands. Now it's just gonna start falling. Okay, see how it's, can you see that? It's beating up. And then if you start rubbing more gentle, it'll just start falling off. I'm hoping you can see this. Oof. And this is gonna get all that dead skin that you've been holding on to all month. Oh. And really make sure you get up in here as well because we don't want this part of our body to age. We wanna keep it as young as we can, as long as we can, right? Yes. Okay. Now, if you do this microdermabrasion at home, just this on a, on a weekly maintenance, then this would be all you would do. You would just do this, and then you would just with a damp rag, wipe off the extra crystals, and your skin is infused with some of the most amazing skincare products, and especially the copper peptides, which are great for uh, wrinkles, eliminating them. So peptides are fabulous little communicators to our skin, tells it what to do, what not to do. Okay. So your skin will probably be pretty pink by now. Oh yeah, you should see the towel. You wanna see? I'll show you, it's getting around my eyes. No matter how hard I try, it always gets in my hair. Okay, so if you were just doing this at home, this is where you just take just a damp rag and you would just kind of gently whisk off the extra crystals and you actually don't even need any skincare products on your face that night when you use this because your skin will be amazing. Oof, went down into my towel. Oof. So 
that should feel really good. Now we're gonna wash our face because we wanna get all the oils off our face that this beautiful scrub just infused, but we have to, to do the peel because we want this peel to get in deeper. This is the part most of you hate the most is the pumpkin peel, the pumpkin of pain. We are good. You're, and you're gonna have to do it to yourself. <laughs> This is where I wanna see some videos posted on Instagram and Facebook. Is you guys doing the pumpkin? Okay, so now you're going to be taking this facial brush. You're gonna use this several times during the facial. This music is making me feel good. So you're gonna just run this under the water so that it's wet. And then you're going to stir this. You're actually gonna kind of whip it up because it'll get a little frothy. And we're going to be doing a double cleanse because a lot of us don't have alcohol and a lot of us might not wanna use alcohol. And if you don't wanna to have to use alcohol, then you can just cleanse your face two times, okay? So see how this is all whipped up, it's all frothy now? Kind of like egg whites, but it smells better. <laughs> so you're just gonna put this on your face and then save the rest for the second wash. Now, for those of you diehards, instead of the second wash, what you could do is you can take rubbing alcohol and you can take rubbing alcohol with a cotton pad and you can just wipe your whole face off. And the reason for that is we wanna get all the oils off our face and we wanna dry all the oils out. We wanna get all the oil out of our face. So this um, cleanser that we're using actually is a cleanser that takes oil out, but you can always use the rubbing alcohol instead of the second cleanse. I'm not going to, because I don't like rubbing alcohol. I don't like the way it feels. So we're gonna do this. So you can choose what you do. Okay, so now this should be warm. Now this is how you rinse your face. Look at that. So it's amazing. This loosens all kinds of stuff. Okay. So the reason we're going to be using the washcloth and not just rinsing, think about it. When you put your face under the sink and you rinse, well, it's just like, have you ever had a sink that had a bunch of old food and food in your sink and you just rinse it with that little sprayer thing and it still has stuff that's stuck. So you actually have to use a sponge or a washcloth in your sink to get all the stuff off. Same with a washcloth. This is gonna get anything sitting on the top of your skin, anything loose, and especially everything that we just loosened, it's just gonna continue to take it off. So you really wanna get everything off. Now you're gonna rinse your washcloth, and then we're gonna do our second cleanse. I know this is not as fun as coming in and getting a facial, is it? But it's fun for me. <laughs> except I miss you guys. Okay, so we're gonna finish using up our, our facial soap that looks like beaten egg whites. So finish using it up, rinse out your brush, and then you need to dry it on something because you need it really dry for the next application that we do. And then I'm just gonna take a kitchen towel and I'm just gonna really, really get it dry. You want it really, really, really dry. A lot of acids don't do well with water. Um, so we want everything as dry as possible. Okay, so this should be dry now. I'm just gonna let it sit here and then I'm gonna finish washing my second wash. Okay, and we're gonna do two wipes with this. I know that some of you are actually in groups of two and three doing these facials, so that's really fun. You're kind of partying with your girlfriends. Hopefully you have some some party cocktails or mocktails or something like that. Okay. So I feel like I have the soap off. I feel pretty soap-free. 
So you can do two or three rinses with this rag. Look how bad this is getting. Ooh, it's almost embarrassing. So now you're gonna get your blow dryer out again on cool. Okay, you just wanna make sure that you feel really dry. And now we're gonna go for number three. I always tell you guys that I'm a big baby. I flipping hate chemicals on my face. Some of you don't even flinch and I'm, I just don't get it because this stuff hurts me. <laughs> okay, so what you have is your pumpkin and I've added some lactic acid to it. So, ow! <laughs> okay, very important, you guys. You're gonna go, oh, son of a gun. You're gonna go, oh, I just wanna use the fan so bad right now. Very important, do not get this in your eyes. So make sure that you stay very, very far away from the eyes. The closest I go is about right here. Just don't, get, I don't want any phone calls that you guys got it in your eyes, okay? I'm trusting you not to do that. Okay, so you're gonna go down here. I would like to get plenty around the mouth where people like us who talk too much and laugh too much we get a lot of wrinkles. Oof, okay, the burning is starting to subside, thank goodness. Now I usually do add just the tiniest bit right here, but I do it with a, not a very full brush. Actually, these brushes are not bad, I have to say, I'm pretty happy. So now we're gonna go down. As soon as you get this, oh. <laughs> as soon as you get this, on. I can't even talk. Why do I have to talk through this? As soon as you, you guys are probably jumping around screaming, some of you. So as soon as you get this on, you can use your fan or your blow dryer. And again, you want it on cool. And so you're going to use all of this pumpkin. So this is a pumpkin enzyme lactic acid glycolic salicylic blend. For the girls who are doing the acne facial, version you are going to have this but yours has a lot more salicylic in it so you know this is going to burn okay fan time so you're going to keep this on five to ten minutes whatever you can tolerate really watch your own skin for you that come in and get facials i usually leave this on 10 minutes because this is when you get your arms exfoliated and massage sorry you're not going to get that just pretend or if you guys are in a group massage each other's arms so number seven is your massage cream or you can blow your face because it hurts like ants biting you. I'm blowing. Okay, the burn goes down pretty quickly. It's usually about two or three minutes and the burn pretty much goes down. So I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. If you feel like your face can only tolerate five, then only go five. Pause the video right here and I'll meet you back in 10 minutes. Okay. It has been 12 minutes for me. I think it's done done its damage. So now you're gonna take a cool wash rag. Remember you rinsed it out before you put the pumpkin on? Now it's not hot anymore, now it's cool. If you try to put something hot, like a hot fan or a hot blow dryer, same with hot liquid on a chemical, you can get a chemical rash. And that's not fun either. It's these little red bumps that form, not fun. Okay, so you're gonna really gently wipe this off and you might feel a little tingle again because salicylic seems to reactivate with water and it seems to drive it in deeper. So even though there's not a lot of salicylic in this for us non-acne facial girls, it still has a little burn. Okay, so you're gonna rinse this off with cool water. So you're just gonna keep wiping this off with cool water until it's completely gone. I've wiped this off three times. Next is number four. So before we start, you need to rinse this brush off really good. For those of you who are doing the acne facial, this next step with the gel, with the gel, you're not going to do. And for those of you who are doing the aloe, I'll show you that step now. 
And if you're doing the seaweed mask, you're going to skip to minute 25 and 30 seconds. And now you're going to get into number four, which is your aloe vera oil. It's a little concoction I make. And you're going to mix it up because you need to mix the oil with the gel. And you're just going to get this all over your face. And this is just gonna calm your face down. That's my cat. She's voicing her displeasure because she wants her dinner. But I have to get this facial done before the sun goes down. So you're going to get this all over your face. Hi, Bella. Don't forget the neck and the decollete. You're going to go all the way down. So now that we have this on, we are going to get our ice out of the freezer. So you're either using ice cubes or you're using these party. You can use the globes. It doesn't matter what shape, just as long as you have something cold. So when you use a chemical on your face and the microderm, so doing a scrub on your face, doing chemicals, you are going to cause inflammation. So now we wanna take the inflammation back down. We know that inflammation causes aging. So we're gonna take the inflammation down. So you're gonna start up here and very, very gently, you're gonna go over your eyebrows, under your eyes, Don't forget your mouth. And you're gonna work your way all the way down. Make sure you get down in here too. And you're not using much pressure. This is a really super gentle process going down. Now going up is gonna be different but the going down is gonna be very gentle. This is like a cryogenic lymphatic massage. And down. And I'm just doing really super simple techniques. You can look up lymphatic massage or lymphatic drainage you can get some really cool ideas for a massage if you want, or you can just do this. Because the cold and the anti-inflammatory process is really the most important. Okay, now I've gone down three times. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up, and now I'm using more pressure. So I'm just gonna start with going up. We get a lot of tight fascia in our faces, so in breaking that up, it actually helps to smooth out the face. Guys, go under here, under your cheekbone, kind of push with some pressure. And right on the jaw, and right here, and under here. Now here on the eyes, this is really good. You're just gonna tap all the way out and up, and then tap out and up. And it's really hard to do this when you guys are laying down because the liquid starts going in your eyes. So I usually don't do this when you're getting a facial. So this is really good to do right now. Okay, and now we're gonna make circles around the eyes. And I like to do three to seven times, just depending. And now you're gonna work this up, lift up the eyebrows, 
everything now we're kind of pulling up now i'm going to kind of give a lot of pressure right in here i'm just really lifting all of this up this is so good if you get headaches so i am doing this with quite a bit of pressure okay and you can do this as long as you feel like it it's totally fine okay and now i'm just gonna leave this on my face for about 15 minutes 10 or 15 minutes as long as you can hang out so again pause the video and i'll see you back in 10 to 15 minutes So for those of you who are doing the acne facial, you're going to have two number fours. This is your oil and liquid, and this is your seaweed powder. So you're going to just pour the seaweed powder into your oil. You're going to take your brush and you're going to mix it. I'm not going to do this because I have already done the aloe vera. So this is where the acne and the aloe vera are going to be different. So you're just going to mix this up and then you're going to paint the green mask all over your face and you really have to kind of buff it in a little bit because of the oil it tends to sit on the face so you really have to kind of buff it in and just keep putting it on and putting layer after layer and usually with the seaweed i really only go from here up okay so with seaweed i do not go on the eye i go above the eye okay so you guys are going to put the seaweed on and I will see you guys back in 15 minutes. So you're gonna keep this on 15 to 20 minutes, okay? You are going to do the ice massage after you have washed off the uh, your mask. And while your seaweed mask is drying, to go to minute 21 and watch the ice massage tutorial. This way you'll know what to do when we get to step five, because this is where you're gonna be doing the ice massage. Okay, welcome back. It's been 10 minutes. I'm going to make sure this is really, really wrung out. It's going to look kind of stained because the pumpkin really stains this stuff. You have to pretty much wash this with OxyClean to get it out. Okay, so you're just going to wipe this off. And you're doing this with just a, a warm washcloth. Okay, so now you've got this off. And this will also get any extra microderm crystals off, kind of get those off here, because when you start doing a massage on your face and you've got those crystals, it doesn't feel very good. Okay, so I'm all dry now. Now, when you're putting chemicals on your face, you want your face to be very, very dry so the chemicals can go in deeper. When you're using serums and creams on your face, you wanna do that with a moist face because we wanna seal all the moisture into our skin. So right now I've created moisture on my skin, so I'm gonna go right into this. Now we're gonna open up number five. Now for those of you doing the acne facial, this is when you are gonna use the ice cubes, okay? So that ice cube thing that you just saw with the aloe vera mask, you're gonna do that with this. Now we've got this serum, and you wanna to try to get all of it out. You can use your brush, if you feel like you need to just really get it all out. I'm gonna try to get it all out with my fingers. And now you're gonna take that and you're gonna rub that all over your face, around your eyes. So now you have that serum on your face and you're just going to give yourself an amazing massage. Just give yourself some love. Just really massage, just put your, fingers like this and kind of create a V and go right up your jawbone and you probably feel a little tightness right here. Our face holds so many tight muscles and you can really soften your face by doing massage. It's so good for the face. Okay. Mm. Just spend about three or four minutes just massaging your face, your neck, your decollete. And of course, the girls doing the acne facials, you're going to be using the ice now with this serum. Okay, after you've done that, now we're gonna go into the cream. So this is your Intraceuticals blend. It looks small, but it's very, very moisturizing. 
and you have so much on your face right now that you don't need a ton. So you've got this and because it's a blend, you wanna blend it together between your fingers. Mm, it smells like rose, it smells so good. And now you're gonna rub that all over your face and your face should feel so happy and so exfoliated. So now you have just taken off all the dead skin and then you have caused a very good cell turnover with the peel. And then you have taken down the inflammation. You've massaged in amazing skincare products into your face. Your face should be wonderful. In about five days, you'll wanna probably do maybe a, just a real minor scrub or something like that because you might get a little bit of sloughing because you have done a small chemical, uh, you have done a small chemical peel, so you might get some sloughing. So you just want to get that all off. You can also do it with your rough washcloth. Two or three nice good buffings should just really polish your skin right up. And for the months that you can't come in, I'm going to start offering this kit once a month. This way, you get your once a month cell turnover, so that we can keep our skin from getting old. We wanna. Hold back the aging as long as we can. I'll see you soon. I hope this was fun for you guys. I hope you had some kind of a party or you feel some self-love now because I know I feel kind of good right now. So this felt good for me. And it was nice pretending I was doing it with you because I was imagining all your faces and um, I really was doing this with you. Okay, so I love you and I'll see you soon.